Hey guys, Shai from Agilite. Today we have uh, Clement and Steve from Camera. Clement is going to teach us two quick tricks to shoot significantly faster. Hi everyone. So Clement from uh, Camera. I'm the founder of the company. Served a little bit more than a decade uh, as military in a French special unit. Two big parts. The first one will be how to organize the gun setup and the rifle setup specifically to shoot faster. The second one, two tips on the manipulation, specifically the grip with your strong end that you can improve and focus on if you want to increase your rate of fire efficiently. All right, cool. Let's talk about the setup then. Okay, so raise the rifle. There is many, many ways to use a sling and to organize a setup, etc. Our personal choice and preference is two-point sling put this way. So the first anchor point will be just back to the grip and the second anchor point will be just facing the optics or the beginning of the end guard. Why we work this way? Because it allows me to manipulate my gun efficiently with the less energy as possible. This way, first for the manipulation, if I work properly, I don't have specific issue for full out transition or complete transition. If I work in a compressed environment, there is also no sling movement. And the last thing and what we are looking for to shoot faster, the sling will help me to create a stable structure without any contraction or uh, is without any energy. The idea here is trying to create this stability without energy, without contraction, without any resource use. So for this, I will release the sling this way. So this sling is the Valkyrie from our company, uh, created to adjust it Quickly on the adjust, fly, yeah. super, super quick, without any look on it. I will just let the, the, the sling a little bit floaty. Yeah. Take the position and from here, I will just create a little bit tension. So if I'm looking just to deploy the rifle because I see something, I just have to present and push. It costs me no energy. I can start from the path forward position. I see something, something happened, I need to Engage. open the fire. I will just present again and from here, look at this, my support end and it just opened. I will just push against the end guard and I don't need to also grab the rifle if I want to play with it. Yeah. I don't need to scrape and to grip the rifle to be... My both ends are open. There is no grip, no contact on the rifle. I just made a quite decent, stable platform. Yeah. So if I add my both ends support and strong end on the rifle, it makes my life way much easier. Yeah. I can patrol for time, super tired, etc. Just have to deploy. And the sling will help Easy. me to don't squeeze, don't over tension yeah. the rifle. The moment you over tension, the rifle uh, kind of like shake with your hands. Exactly. So i let you try. So from this, you will adjust the tension. Yeah, probably at the maximum for you. Yeah. All right. And you can relax and try to face the threat and just push on the end guard. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Want to try live? Yeah, let's do live. All right. So you just push. Yep. And specifically because this thing is cut for my size, I'm a little bit taller than you. Yeah. If you do this thing for your body type, you will just win this additional tension. Yeah, yeah. I'll you, probably you make it a little easy. bit shorter here, exactly. but uh, yeah. You have to adapt the body type, but you get the main idea behind it. Yeah. First point. Uh, second one will be the grip. So for this, I will remove this glove. So keep the ears on, please. And let's have a look on something. Thank you. We will work on this target, so between 12 to 15 meter. So it, it's the mistake we want to to we want we want to fix. Okay. Yeah. What's happened here? The one, firing? two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah. With a bigger time between the three and four and the four and five. What's happened here? It's just the timing between, like, is it the... the, the uh, Have I, you paid attention about the way I grab the rifle? Come on this side. All right, let's do it again. Uh, trigger work. The trigger work. Yeah, but 
did you see the work of my strong end? The front end? No, I'll uh, look at the one, back. The, the strong end. The strong end. I grab and the whole thing. The like a monkey holding his banana. Okay. Like <laughs> crushing a lemon or crushing an orange. Okay. But what happens if I just put my hands facing up and trying to move my index the quicker as I can? Did you see the other finger? The move. will move. Moving as well. Also. Yeah. When I try to increase the rate of fire and because I'm in super high stress situation, my wall hand will squeeze and yeah. crush. And what's happened, I have one, two, three, four finger Crushing trying to the... hold something. Yeah. And there is another one who will just try to move to back live and forth his best and relax, life yeah. quick as he can. But in fact, this index finger, democracy, three against one will True. just stay stick and in the same spirit as the, the other one. So okay. how we can fix it? We will try to, to, to hold the grip of the rifle more like a stick that you want to talk on something. Okay. Was the main idea. Okay. Right. If I just, if I have a stick like this, trying to apply pressure on something, yeah. could be your, could you just put your arm here, horizontal? If I want to put some pressure yeah. and grabbing the tube this way, like a yeah, monkey really is banana, yeah. What's happened? Yeah. I have a wake point in my waist. True. Yeah. yeah. Normally, what people do, if I want to apply some pressure here, I will do this thing. This. Talk. You think about pushing the thumb forward. Yeah, the talk. Yeah. It's exactly the ID, the visualization you have to keep in mind with the rifle. So, dry first. When I just hold the rifle normally, patrol, whatever, the thumb is a little bit up. Try to visualize the big stick you want to push on the, on the threat or on the target. Yeah. Like this. Your thumb should stay up. It's a super great visual indicator. Okay. For your body will try to help you, but yeah. also for yourself. During a, a course of fire, rifle course of fire, if your thumb is down, okay. it's often the sign that you work too tight. As a monkey. As a monkey. Yeah. As a monkey. It's quite okay if you shoot like one, then two, then three. Yeah, low you have rate, a big gap between every shot. Accurate shot, etc. But if you just want to Shoots open fast. the throttle on, yeah. you have to make the thing um, this way, trying to move the index as quick as you can, and you will see a big difference. Let's try. Let's try it. Makes sense. You don't have any sticky action of the index on the trigger because yeah. you hold your rifle into an unconscious way. That's mm -hmm. the ID behind. Okay? Okay. Give a shot. So first run, I'm asking you voluntarily to just switch off the trigger yep. and try to think about the monkey and the banana. The monkey so and the banana. So you will just grip everywhere as you can it. stuck, okay. and try to shoot four to six shots on you. Stand up. You see, on, you, you can't see from your side, but I see from mine, the thumb is down. Yeah. So when I try to increase the rate of fire, I start to crush, crush. more. Yeah. So try to switch off the trigger. Think about the, the stick, the torque. So your thumb should be up. Yep. Then play All right, cool. the trigger. Thumb up, up. Yeah. torque, then open. Better. You feel the difference? A little bit, yeah. You, you, your thumb is up, but you don't apply any torque. You just let the rifle live by itself. Yeah. Front pressure, thumb up. Front pressure. Okay. Yeah. Now I feel it. Initially in this, uh, in this part, there is plenty of things we can talk about regarding the, the way to improve uh, shooting rate and accuracy and how to shoot quicker and faster with the rifle. But if you have to, you just have to deconstruct the complete shooting platform, like a weapon system, as a human, yeah, uh, there is many things like the stance, etc., etc. Et but it's one of the things that you can fix directly by just trying to think about the torque on your strong end. All right. That was uh, two tips: how to shoot faster from uh, Clement for camera. Uh, thanks for the value information. I hope you guys learn a thing or two because I learn a lot. And uh, we'll see you again. Stay safe. Stay safe.